It is a major day in BC's battle to stop the fourth wave of the pandemic. The vaccine passport kicked off for non-essential businesses. And as of today, all long-term care home workers must have at least one dose. Now, the government announcing that all health care workers must be vaccinated. Good evening. Healthcare workers have until late October to get immunized, and this new order includes 150,000 workers in healthcare facilities. It's a move that some feel is long overdue. But as Shannon Patterson reports, one high profile union doesn't like it, saying it could put further strain on an overburdened system. From nurses and doctors to maintenance and janitorial staff, every British Columbian who works in a healthcare setting will have to be vaccinated by October 26th. Yes, it's going to be a condition of employment. So obviously, if there are medical reasons, um, if there are um, strongly held belief religious reasons, these will be, uh, there'll be um, a central process to review these. If the review is denied and that healthcare worker refuses the vaccine, the ultimate um, end for people who choose not to be immunized who work in health care is uh, a leave without pay. I heard the provincial health officer say in the briefing today that she thought the consequence would be uh, unpaid leave, but we've also heard some health employers say that they will dismiss health care workers. In a statement, the BC Nurses Union said, we cannot support any order which will serve to remove even a single nurse or other health care worker from the health care system at a time of severe crisis. We know that our health care system is stretched to the limit at this point. We represent members in long-term care, you know, assisted living, in community health care, in health science professionals, and they're already strained. So losing members is really, really difficult. It's really important that we try and sort of protect the investment we have in the skills and experience of healthcare workers. While the unions representing healthcare workers are all strongly encouraging their members to be vaccinated. We have questions about, you know, exactly which workers are going to be covered by these orders. You know, how will legitimate exemption accommodations be made? There are very few people who cannot be immunized with these vaccines um, for medical reasons. With the Delta variant surging and hospitalizations rising. There are settings where we cannot afford to have unvaccinated healthcare workers working. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.